We're back at Beth Page State Park to visit another of the Ryder Cup venue's conservation projects. I've come to the Nature Discovery Garden which is right opposite an elementary school, which is just over there, right on the border of the, of the golf course. But the children have access to this garden and it's curated by the uh, State Park's horticulturalist, Alexa Hoffman. And I'm going to meet Alexa now. out this area this was an access road at one point we cleared it out of a lot of invasive species there were a lot of ivy growing on all of the trees and uh, other really bad vines that were killing a lot of the trees so we cleared it out and we were able to plant it in 2021 with native plants in big blocks so that we could educate the elementary school kids and other people who would come on native plants and how beautiful they are and the ecological benefits they have to our environment here. There's not a lot of education about plants and ecology in general. Our areas, maybe they go around to parks and these plants that are e existing, now they can like have a better understanding of what they are and more of a relationship with the things that are around them. really is fun watching them interact with the insects. Uh, a lot of them come in very afraid of all the bees buzzing around. This is a pollinator garden, so we have bees and butterflies and everything. They love the butterflies. Bees are a little scary thing, but we try to teach them as they are on the flowers, they're not bothering with us. So it's really rewarding for me to see these kids just put their guards down a little bit. And then we also have different types of plants that you can identify them by their smell. And so we're, we're crushing up leaves and having them smell it and trees that they have seen in their yard. And it's cool to teach them those little fun facts, like magic tricks. We see a lot of the woodland birds, the common birds, cardinals, woodpeckers, like downy woodpeckers, blue jays, bluebirds actually live here on the golf course we have. The New York State bird, we have them nesting here, not in this particular area. This is more of like a woodland pathway, but Essentially, we made this tra this trail after the garden. This is more recent as we're clearing out more of the invasive plants. We're making these pathways and we decided to put up, we got those binoculars for the kids. We got so they can come in and take a pair of binoculars and learn how to use them because that's not always accessible. They come up here and we put up a bunch of different bird boxes. So we try to have them find the bird boxes and hopefully, you know, get something to nest in there and find a, a Carolina wren or like a little chickadee, something like that. I asked Alexa how important the Ryder Cup is to communicating golf and sustainability and why nature conservation matters to everyone. I'm really excited to be a part of the Ryder Cup and highlight our native plants and the things that we do with ecological horticulture. I have several gardens on the black horse that we're hoping to highlight those plants that they're not exactly, you know, some people call them weeds, but they're just the plants that live here and they've evolved in these ecosystems and it's really cool to see. I'm very passionate about how our ecosystems need to function for us and for every other living thing that we that live around us. And I, that's what I'm really most passionate about is helping people understand that we do have a part in that and that we are able to help and, and, and every little bit counts. Nature is connected to everything that we do. It is everything. Our clean air, our clean water, all depends on these functional ecosystems. We need to be stewards of the environment. We should be responsible for caring for it, and that's my passion. It's really putting our best foot forward with the community. Sometimes it's about engaging the non-golfer as well to the value of the golf course. We're on the outskirts of the golf course property now, so we're 50 yards away from a fairway and 50 yards away from a school. So this is really a great location. It involves a variety of people, and then it's sort of that little bit of the soft sell. Uh, as a golfer myself, it's maybe a soft sell on getting people involved in the game or just having a friendly reaction to the to the park in general. The park is about 1,500 acres in total and about a thousand of those acres are golf courses. So it's another you know several hundred acres of other land areas that can get used by other users. One of the places that I really enjoyed visiting today was the Nature Discovery Garden. And I just thought that was such a great idea to take what was a, an overgrown piece of land just set off the golf course 
uh, by a piece of woodland and turn it into a great learning resource and a great way to engage with the community and to make it available to the school children who are literally just outside the course and bring the community onto a safe part of the golf course. Just a really great idea, genius. Next time we're back in the wildlife garden to meet a writer and educator who is teaching children all around the world about nature on golf courses. Not one day I don't feel grateful to live here. I listen to birds sing. I feel like I live in a cartoon every day. People here really care about nature. Golf courses are taking the resources away from us. They are not good for nature. They're not good for the environment. These are cannot be farther away from the truth. Golf courses are really the green space between all the urban jungles that we are in. We are going to do our best to make our existence better for all our neighbors around.